You know, forget quinoa and probiotics. That's so 2016. When it comes to diet and nutrition, there are a lot of new terms we're going to learn about in 2017. So holistic nutritionist Michelle Book of the Canadian Health Food Association knows what's coming next. It's her job, and she joins us this morning to talk about the top nutrition trends of the year. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having yes, me. Yes, and I'm looking forward to learning some new things about what I should be incorporating into my diet for good reasons, it's right? It's true. You know, it's a new yeah. year, a fresh start. A lot of us want to be healthier, yes, right? Yes, exactly. So that's why at the Canadian Health Food Association, we have identified these mm. top five trends, starting over here with uh, sprouting. Sprouts, okay, sprouting. So I'm familiar with alfalfa, but there are some different things here. Yes, yeah, so we've got some radishes. Yeah. and some uh, broccoli. Those are broccoli, broccoli sprouts, sprouts and lentil sprouts. That's sprouts. cool. You know, when we sprout, we actually unlock the nutrients. So vitamins oh. and minerals that are usually locked in the seed are unlocked. So we, we get our body can actually access and absorb all these important nutrients. Oh, wow, so okay. Sprouting, so you, how do you use a sprout, by the way? Yeah, well, you can you can visit your local CHFA member health food store and you can uh, find one of these sprouting kits. Oh, to grow your own. Exactly. Cool. And on our website, chfa.ca, we have a great step-by-step -step guide. So oh. it's really, really easy. Or you can buy different ingredients or products that actually have sprouted ingredients in oh, them. Oh, okay. So, uh, you know, we've got some, some protein powder right. here, granola bars, even sprouted bread. Which sprouted bread. So that's what sprouted bread is it is and you actually find it in your your freezer section right that's right you have to keep it cold of your sprouted healthy bread that's yes, right exactly. but yeah sprouts you even throw them in smoothies uh, like I love them sandwiches salads yeah this time of year you know when we're used to eating comfort foods it's a bit of it's a bit of nice summer crunch in the winter freshness, freshness. Yeah. all right next now some of these things I don't know what they are so help me out <laughs> that's okay they're plant-based dairy alternatives oh. so in, in general plant-based diets are becoming more and more popular mm. so uh, expanding on that category we have different cheeses. Uh, you know, we're all familiar with almond and soy milk. This is actually cashew milk, which oh. is homemade. It's so easy That's to make. Cool. Again, on our website, we have a really step-by-step -step easy guide on how to make your oh, own. Oh, wow. This is uh, coconut yogurt. Oh, yum. It that tastes, sounds good. It tastes delicious. And we even have some non-dairy chocolate up there for uh, the sweeter, too. I didn't know there was such a thing. It, you got, there it is. If you'd like to try it, you oh, can. <laughs> oh, gee, Michelle, no, I don't want to try it at all. Who can resist chocolate in the morning? Really? And this is non-dairy? Yes. Okay, I had no idea. So it tastes really good. So, you know, just looking mm. for alternatives, again, at your local CHFA mm -hmm. member health Now, store. next, I like the look of this pineapple. Digestive enzymes. So we, we know that uh, our body actually produces digestive enzymes, but as we age and because of stress, our ability to produce these enzymes can decrease. Mm. So if you eat and you feel bloated and gassy and uncomfortable, it might be because you're not properly digesting your food oh. and you need, maybe need some digestive enzymes. Mm. So speaking to your healthcare practitioner, uh, you know, digestive health is really important. Important, as you were saying last year, probiotics, probiotics fermented, were the big buzz. Yes, yeah. fermented foods. So 2017, we're going to be hearing more about um, digestive enzymes. Mm, and there are things like, so you can eat things. Yes, you can eat things because that. digestive enzymes are found in cer certain foods. So mm. like pineapples, like papayas, mm. but digestive enzymes can be destroyed through cooking. Oh, um, okay. So, and when we have a supplement, we know the quality and the quantity right. of the Right, you know what enzyme. you're getting, right? Exactly. exactly. Now next, mushrooms. Good thing I love mushrooms, but why are we considering them as a, as a top item for 2017? Mushrooms are great to eat, so high in B, B vitamins, selenium, copper, but there's lots of research being done on the medicinal properties of, of um, mushrooms. Now, we've known for years they're really beneficial. Uh, shaga mushrooms, which we have up here, they're dried. You can make a wonderful tea. A lot of immune-boosting properties wow. in different mushrooms. That's really neat. So, mm. um, again, you can visit our website, cgv.ca. Mm. Super easy, step-by-step -step guide to make your own mushrooms. And these dried mushrooms, once you actually use them, you can pop them in your freezer and reuse them again. Oh, weird. That's like super food. It's like it, space food. It, well, That's cool. <laughs> now, last but not least, and we actually are out of time, but I want to get this in before okay. we go, uh, because because there's some really neat things here. I see like uh, chickpeas and black bean chips. So that's... Yeah, bean chips. We've got some uh, red lentil pasta, some spiralized zucchini noodles, smart carbs. It's all smart oh. carbs, but making smarter options. And you can visit our website for more information. Based on that, look, that's pasta too. <laughs> that's... Isn't that a... Amazing. Bean pasta, yes. That's so cool. Lots of options to try out this year. Uh, so make it part of your to-do list for 2017 to work these in. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. And we'll me. post a, a link to the website that Michelle mentioned as well on our website so you can find it easy peasy. Some great uh, advice on how you can do some of these things yourself. Like sprouting. I like the idea of sprouting. <laughs> 749 is the time right now. We're back in just a few minutes here on CTV Morning Live.